Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Game Week 7 FPL Team Reveal. Now, as you guys saw by the previous FPL video, it's not been going great for me in FPL so far. But I'm hoping that if I hold the team that I have, things could get better. Because we obviously know Diaz didn't do well, Liverpool conceded, Arsenal conceded too, Villa conceded too, Haaland blanked. So it was a very bad week unless you had Palmer. So I'm hoping this could go better for me because I'm in the mud right now and I'm hosting a £500 FPL league. If you would like to join, the code is L-I-I-R-D-R. -R. It's not too late to enter £500 to the winner of this FPL league. Now, let me know in the comments if you're going to be participating and what rank you are overall. I want to reveal my team to you guys so you guys can have a discussion and let me know what you guys think. In goal, I've got Henderson. Gabriel Consa Robertson. As you can see, everyone conceded last week. It was a bad week. But Henderson is playing Liverpool and I've got three Liverpool players. So that is a little bad side. But I would not like to use my free transfer on this yet. Because I don't think that's a smart idea for me to be using my free transfer on that. Plus I want to stack them up because I already used my wildcard game week four. So I would kind of like to stack up my assets. All right. Gabriel Consa Robertson. We've got Gabriel playing Southampton. Arsenal's bogey team is Southampton. So I'm hoping that Arsenal can, you know, pattern up, eliminate old, you know, saying old things that got us. You know what happened last time we played? Ramsdale is now playing for them. So maybe get a few goals past him. I'll be at the game tomorrow. The vlogs will be back. So look out for that one. I got Rodgers. Now Rodgers, I think Rodgers returned for me last week. I think he did. Rodgers, seven points. He has returned. He finally got a goal. The week before that, he got two assists. But this week, bro, has finally got a goal. Now, I'm hoping he can continue his form going into the next game against United. United are playing very, very bad. We saw what happened yesterday. Let's be realistic here. United winning 2-0 and then slipping three goals and then requiring Harry Maguire in the dire moments of the game to rescue them is not a good sign of where me United are, is at right now. I don't really fuck with United myself, if I'm being frank. I'm happy with every single thing that's happening. But... I need them to get some wins on the board so Ten Hag's job can be secure. We want five to ten more years of Ten Hag. Now, as you can see, what I said earlier today, I have three Liverpool players. Here is the other two Liverpool players. As you all know, there's a trend going on where people are getting multiple Liverpool players in. Of course, I've got Diaz and Salah. Now, Diaz has been doing very well. He's got 14, 15, 16. So he's got a lot of point returns. He's got returned 53 points in the space of six games which is very, very good. But obviously, you can see when if he does a return 14 or 15 or 16, he's returning 3, 3, 2. So you can see there's a little discrepancy there. Like half of, the, half of his points have been 2, 3, 3, and then the other ones have been 15, 16, and 14. So he's it's, it's a bit hit or miss. Then the other one is, of course, Salah. Salah got 10 points against Wolves. He's my guy. He's the one that did well for me. Of course, Salah's been returning apart from Forrest. No one did well at Forrest. They lost 1-0. But every other game, Salah has been returning with 59 points overall. So both of them have been firing. Now, Semenyo, my FPL savior last week. He got me some points. I don't care how many points it is. He got me seven. I needed it. Like, he was corking the hell out of Southampton. But I needed them points out of him. So, Semenyo, you did me well, my boy. I appreciate everything you've done for me. Now, moving on to Madueke. Madueke got five points. You know, he got assist. He did the cheeky little thing. Can't really complain too much. Many other people didn't return. Now, at the top of the pitch, I have got Haaland and Havertz. Haaland is playing Fulham. I forgot to say, Semenya is playing Leicester. So, but Leicester got two goals against Arsenal. And Madueke is playing Forest. But Madueke has been bullshitting. And Forest, they've been playing very well. And Haaland and South and Havertz. I got to lie, Haaland, he blanked against um, Newcastle. Newcastle really did have him locked up, though, if I'm being blatantly honest. They did have him a bit locked up. So that's why he didn't. But he was my captain, so I expected better things out of him. And then, of course, my boy Havertz. He did get his goal late on. It was ruled as offside, but he got his goal late on for me, and that's what did me justice. And on my bench, we've got Fabianski. He doesn't start. Joao Pedro, who will be returning unknown date. It's changed from the 8th to unknown date. I should have taken Welbeck, but he's gone. Masquera is out for the rest of the season. Expected 1st of June. He's super gone. And we just got Newcastle's keen. So as you can see overall with this team, it's not looking great. And I, I'm currently 385 overall points, 46 game points. I'm overall rank 
and there's a million or 10 million players in my own league i see 838 in my own league now i think it's only right to look at the person's first place 472 so near enough roughly around about 100 points more than me this is who they had they had McNeil, palmer saka ahmad harlan watkins lewis consa robinson gabriel raya i'll be right his team was looking very good but if i were to get rid of some players right so i got 0 0.2 budget left realistically i feel like i should just hold my assets for two weeks ride out the storm wait till game week nine have three free transfers and build from there because right now i think if i decide to make some changes it'll be a bit premature because the week before i did do a lot to bring in gabriel i got rid of pedro poro who then got a clean sheet by the way pedro poro who was in my team the week before like i'll show you right now pedro poro was in my team the week before he was on my bench and he got five points so he did get a clean sheet so really see if i just held with pedro poro i would have been eating gucci but i guess things do not work out like how they're supposed to otherwise as you can evidently see here i got 46 points as someone who is supposed to be hosting this fpl league i'm currently not doing as well as i wanted to i feel like the people who do well in fpl is the people that hold their teams like right i feel like if you hold the team that you have make minimal changes don't make nothing drastic unless it's supposed to happen because me i panicked in game week four i said i'm not happy with my team made boom drastic drastic changes and they didn't work out for me and ever since then i've been declining 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 further and further down in my own league so i need to sort this out because it's not great for me especially if i want to retain my 500 i have to win it myself that's the only way i get to keep my money is if i dominate this league and come first place i'm 100 points away near enough less than 100 points away like i'm like what 90 points away from first place but there's 1.8 people in this league 1.8k people in this league so i need to lock in and stop taking a piss and actually consider myself as a threat because right now i don't know what's going to get me further in this place i think harland against fulham he has to stay captain there's no way i'm removing captaincy of harland right no way i'm removing captaincy of harland if you guys have made any transfers yourselves let me know what you guys think you guys would like to do with your team because i think my team apart from henderson in goal everyone else i'm a bit more confident in. i think villa will concede to united villa to united at home i think united i think villa do them especially with the way villa performed against bayern i think villa will do them everyone else in this team realistically should be returning me points soon diaz will be leaving this team and then up upgrades will be made to the rest of the team because diaz will go diaz is currently what seven so what, 8.1 mil diaz will leave this team improvements will be made with the rest of the team and i will use my money more effective and wisely because i'm happy with my back line the attack i'm happy with the midfield could use a bit more bolstering i i believe but let me know your thoughts on my team hope you guys have enjoyed my fpl game week seven team reveal let me know yours below in the comments hopefully you guys have a better week than i did previously and all the best for the future because this is where my run starts now i take over this league and i win this is the main thing i'm focusing on this is all that matters winning this is everything that i need but i hope you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe i'll catch you for another video tomorrow we're back daily uploading tomorrow's video will be a vlog and foot champs i might double upload so take care peace let's see how it goes game week seven in fpl 2024 25 season i hope it goes well for me i need these points <laughs>